Governor of the Bank of Ghana, Dr. Ernest Addison, has denied reports of the purported takeover of ADB Bank by Unibank Ghana. Speaking at the inauguration of the new Ecobank head office in Accra, Dr. Addison noted that the central bank has not given approval of a takeover of the Agricultural Development Bank. Unibank, an indigenous Ghanaian bank, has gone into a transaction with four major shareholders of ADB Bank to take majority stake in the state bank. The report said Belt Star Capital, Star Mount Development Company, EDC, as well as SIC Financial Services Limited have all pledged their shares, proceeds, entitlement, and voting rights to Unibank. The Ghana Stock Exchange consequently suspended trading of the Agricultural Development Bank today, seeking further clarification on the matter from the bank. Meanwhile, GBC24 can confirm that Unibank and the Central Bank has not given an approval for such a transaction. I should at this point respond to some of the news developing this morning, just to clarify that the Bank of Ghana has not given approval to the purported takeover or through the share, pledging of shares of the Agricultural Development Bank to Unibank. The bank has also noted the challenges in the microfinance sector and would like to assure the public that it is taking steps to address these challenges through our monitoring of the microfinance the government of Ghana currently has we have also held a number of meetings with shareholders Star Capital and management of the affected institutions. Star Development Company has 11%, SIC Financial Services has 10%, the Bank of Ghana 9.50%, EDC Investment has 6%, Retail Investors and ADB Staff also has 7.20% in ADB Bank. Meanwhile, ADB has also denied a takeover of the bank by Unibank, as reported. Statement on the bank's website admits that ADB received letters from Bellstar Capital Limited, EDC Limited, and Star Mount Investment Limited, pledging their various shares in the bank to Unibank. The statement indicates that, in accordance with the Banks and Specialized Deposit Taking Institutions Act 2016, a person shall not, without the proud approval in writing of the Bank of Ghana, enter into an agreement or arrangement which will result in the change in control of a bank, specialized deposit-taking institutions or financial holding company. The Act continues that, for the purpose of share acquisition in financial institutions, the Bank of Ghana must grant approval of share acquisitions of 5, 10, 30, 50 or 75 percent of equity thresholds. ADB is also in discussions with the Ghana Stock Exchange to restore trading on the exchange. ADB therefore wishes to assure the bank's numerous customers and the general public that the shareholding of the bank remains unchanged and customers' accounts and investment are adequately protected. Let's now get on the lines and speak to a senior lecturer at the University of Cape Coast Business School, Professor John Gatti, on this latest development. Good evening, Professor Gatti. Good evening. Good. Welcome to GBC 24 on Ghana Television. In your estimation, Thank can you. you please walk us through exactly what is happening about this takeover of ADB, the alleged? So I think there are two things happening the right of shareholders to come together to support a particular cause, which is not against any law. Then secondly, uh, it's about a corporate revolt, or if you like, shareholders revolt against another shareholder who is not uh, treating the other shareholders in a manner that is expected uh, in a corporate world. You will recall that uh, some time ago, uh, the Minister of Finance uh, is uh, reported to have uh, approved about 10 million Ghana cities to a company, uh, which is against corporate governance uh, uh, guidance because it is the board that is supposed to approve that threshold. Okay. And we were told that BESTA, which is also linked to uh, Unibank, wrote a very strong uh, later to the finance minister to the effect that he is not supposed to repeat 
start and act uh, again in the future. And since that time, there has been some difficult relationship, uh, which was affecting the standing of uh, Unibank and was also affecting the bank in general. Uh, so in order to cater for some of these difficulties, as we approach uh, uh, the period that the banks are supposed to meet their minimum uh, requirements, it is, only, also, it, is, it is only proper uh, to understand the perspective uh, of a union bank and other shareholders to come together to put their strength together and fight uh, the other shareholders. For me, that is exactly what is happening. But as to whether that amounts to a transfer of shares or not, because uh, the approval that is required of Bank of Ghana was not uh, uh, actually infected. And also, if you read the Security and Exchange Commission Act 33H, uh, anything that uh, uh, we can describe as business combination, uh, takeovers, uh, measures and acquisitions okay. are supposed to be approved by the Security and Exchange Commission. Okay. And because that has also not been applied for and has yes. not been approved and authorized, we cannot say that there has been change in the shareholding share structure of uh, uh, ADB. Okay, Professor Gatti, um, uh, was the Ghana Stock Exchange too swift in suspending ADB shares trading? Well, so long as the Act violates uh, a section in their uh, regulation, uh, they, are, they can do that. But the point is, if the, secret, if the, uh, the Ghana Stock Exchange could wait for two years uh, for UT Bank and then uh, uh, Capital Bank before an action was taken. Mm -hmm. One was not expecting a long period of time before they take an action okay. anyway, but the simultaneous manner within which uh, the Ghana Stock Exchange responded is good, but it set a very sharp negative implication for uh, ADB. Very well. And ADB management will have to manage that as we go forward. Very well. Any other thing you'd want to add to it before we leave? Well, I think that it's okay. Okay. Thank you very much. That was Professor John Gatti, a senior lecturer at the University of Cape Coast Business School. Thank you so much.